Hi dear friends, to better understand the universe, life and humanity, we must first try to understand the subatomic world of quantum. We know that all things in the universe are made up of atoms, cells and the human body and other living beings are of course made up of atoms too. There are approximately 7 octillion atoms in a person weighing 70 kilograms. That is 7 followed by 27 zeros. So, what are atoms, the building blocks of the universe, made up of? We can't understand quantum mechanics without understanding this tiny structure. An atom has a core of nucleus that is made up of neutrons and protons. And the nucleus is surrounded by clouds or layers of electrons. Let's try to visualize this structure by thinking of it on a larger scale. If we consider that an atom with its layers of electrons covers an area of 10,000 units, we can say that its nucleus has a volume of 1 unit. In other words, there are 10,000 units between the electron layers and the nucleus. However, 99% of these atoms mass belongs to the nucleus. Let's look at another example. If we imagine that an atom is as large as a stadium, then the nucleus is as large as a football in the center of the stadium. An atom is the smallest unit that retains the properties of an element. For example, a golden necklace is a big number of gold atoms staying together in the form of a necklace. A gold atom cannot become smaller without retaining the properties of gold. A gold atom gets its properties from its subatomic particles. If the number of protons in an atom changes, its elemental properties also change. What element an atom is determined by the number of protons in its nucleus and the number of electrons that surround it determines the what kind of chemical reactions that atom may go through. In short, an atom's structural properties form the elements that shape the universe and the life within it. For example, the elemental distribution of our body is as follows. 65% oxygen, 18% carbon, 10% hydrogen, 3% nitrogen, 1.4% calcium, and 1.1% phosphorus. The other 1.5% consists of potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium, boron, chromium, cobalt, Copper, fluorine, lodin, iron, manganese, molybdenum, selenium, silicon, tin, vanadium, and zinc. We as perfectly created humans can only balance and further our life with this distribution of elements. Dear friends, until now, we try to understand the atom so that we can better understand quantum physics. A better understanding and interpretation of quantum laws however, will widen our perspective on the universe and life. The physics laws and models that scientists discover are shaped accordingly both to the micro and macro world. In other words, different rules and forces get into action in different dimensions. Let's think about this a bit. When we turn a cup full of water upside down, the water in it spills because of gravity. The rules of the macro world are in effect here. However, even though the big mass of water spills to the ground, there are still a few drops of water stuck to the bottom of the cup. Gravity can't pull down these little drops because there are different rules that are effective in a much more smaller micro world. The pull and the bond between the water molecules are stronger than the gravity's effects on these molecules. So the water molecules stick to the bottom of the cup. In the subatomic world that we call the micro universe, however, different physics models are effective. In this micro world, there are electromagnetic nuclear forces that are in effect. We call these rules that are in effect in these micro environments quantum mechanics. In this micro universe, while the electromagnetic and nuclear forces are strong, gravitational forces are weak and ineffective. Because of this truth, even though scientists call quantum mechanics the rules of the subatomic world, they also point out that it has a side that affects the micro world, the macro world too. For example, elements that are crucial to the macro world are a result of protons and electrons in the micro world being perfectly designed and balanced. 
We are still in the first stage of understanding the mini world we call quantum mechanics. Friends, I too want to ask the questions, problems of the quantum world that we can find an answer for. But first, to better understand quantum philosophy, I want to think over some examples. You may have heard of the famous double slit experiments. It is an experiment that is done using electrons. At first, scientists send some electrons through a slit in a sheet of metal and they observe that the electrons display a single line on the wall that is on the other side of the metal sheet. Later, they do the same using a sheet of metal with two slits and they see that the electrons act like waves and display multiple lines on the wall as the waves would do. At first, scientists think that electrons act as a wave by running into each other. Everything appears normal until this point. Next, they try to send electrons one by one through the metal and see that the electrons reach the wall in a manner just like waves will do. This raises the following thought. The single electrons can go through both slits at the same time so that they can display multiple marks like waves on the other side. They later use a sensor so that they can see which slit the electrons go through. But they face an interesting result. When they observe the electrons, they see that electrons act like particles and form two separate lines on the walls. In other words, when the electrons are observed, they act as particles, but when they are not observed, they act like waves. They even try to put up sensors without actually measuring anything and the electrons still act like waves. This experiment shows us this. The roots behind the subatomic world cannot be explained by physics models of the macro world. We must try to understand this mini world with rules that are created specifically for it. Dear friends, there are rules that apply both to micro and macro world. But there are some rules that are more effective in the subatomic world which we call quantum laws. In the end, the universal laws of physics are the perfect rules of the magnificent flow of the universe. And the different rules that are discovered by scientists, both in the macro and the macro world, they show effectiveness according to the environment, draw our attention as a miracle of creation. Dear friends, please subscribe to our channel, share with your loved ones, and goodbye.